Meet Jabali, born last month at the Ziwa Rhino Sanctuary in Uganda, increasing the number of rhinos there to 32, in what conservationists say is one of the most successful rhino breeding projects on the continent. His mother was among six endangered southern white rhinos brought from Kenya and the U.S. in 2005. Until the early 1980s, there were rhinos in Uganda and much of the region, but they were killed off by poachers during the civil war. These herbivores have come a long way. The first one was born in 2011, nearly 30 years after the last one was spotted in the wild. Uh, we have 24 hours monitoring, physical monitoring on the rhinos, where the rangers go out, records everything that a rhino is doing each hour of the day, and this has helped us so much more to know the behavior of the rhinos, to learn these rhinos into details, and know which rhino is doing what and which father is of which calf. While southern white rhinos are listed as near threatened, the northern white ones are on the brink of extinction. Only two females remain in the world, and they're in Kenya. At the Old Pejeta Conservancy in the Central Highlands, scientists extract eggs from Najin and her daughter Fatu. More than a dozen have been retrieved since last year, and three embryos created with sperm preserved from two males who have already died. The scientists plan to do something that has never been done before with wild animals in vitro fertilization. When we collected the, the eggs last year in December, we had a plan to come again on ground to convene again in the Natural Predator Conservancy in Kenya in April this year and, and uh, work on the, the, the items I just mentioned, you know, work on collecting more eggs, work on uh, perhaps planning on a day to, to do the embryo transfer, work on having, identifying the females that will be surrogates. We were supposed to do that April of this year, but because of the global pandemic, all those plans were shelved. They were postponed indefinitely. They were hoping to implant the embryos into southern white females this year. It's too risky for the last of the northern whites to carry the pregnancy to Tom. As the scientists in all Pejeta and Germany do what they can to save this species, back in Uganda, the rangers celebrate another birth, Rhoda, born to Laloyo just weeks before Jabali. They say the rhino in Africa may be endangered, killed for its horn, but here in Uganda, they're thriving and on the course to be introduced to the wilds by 2022. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera.